Yep. Amazing landscape. Working on it. I'm fine, by the way. There we go. Okay. Here, give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoy Salar exhibitions. I've never even heard about Hoy Salar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital for half the past, and then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Hey, look! Flamingo Convention! See a way forward? Looking! Give me a second. I can wait. Refreshing. Ugh. Could have warned me. Well, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. Oil the head. Slow down. Well, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm, someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balur. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? <clears throat> hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Yeah. 
right. That should no, do the trick. Brother. Razor, move. It's an ambush. Shit, take cover. Uh, thanks for the heads up. about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I will. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. There's nothing.
Hang on. What's that? Hey! Someone took him out. Like I planned. <laughs> yeah. This looks to be it. Right. 
back to shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from that top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a song. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of supplies again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a sword is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. Up and away. Right up there. So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map. With an axe. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident door. Another old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the bow door. And another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Whoa! Guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect.
Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motive. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not Let's yet. keep this quiet as long as we can. Cobra Copy eight. that.
How many are there? Several. There's one on the roof too, over there. What do they do? I don't know. But leave them alone until the boss arrives. That mouth? They are not here! I have nothing. Found anything? I have nothing. I will check here. Go look there. Okay. They are here. I know they are here. This'll make a hell of a racket. Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Little too noisy! Well, it's worth a shot.
That's it. The site's clear. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. How about you? That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Here's another one. Three down. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysalar jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. Mesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. oh. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. 
Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Poissalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, reinforcements. Figures. We shall see. Hello. Brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. Come on, show yourself! We know you're here!
Movement, over there. Movement, spare for injured! All right, we're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. Mountains and lakes. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. 